There you go, it's testing again. And we got the stator port. Coming out pretty decent. A few little air bubbles here and there. They use the uh, fiberglass resin that you can pick up down at uh, Home Depot. And uh, the uh, directions say to use uh, 10 drops per ounce. This is a pretty good sized stator. It's uh, about an inch and an eighth thick. Coils are just slightly over three quarters thick. They're uh, 150 wraps and number 15 wire. Anyway, I'll fill in a few little air bubbles here and there tomorrow and touch up, sand it. And there, I got the connections through here on the other side. I've got the uh, button connections inside there. But what I did in the jig is I actually ran some uh, all thread off through the bottom of the jig up into the uh, uh, button terminal there that you hook, up, hook them up to. Put some uh, automotive wax on there so the uh, fiberglass wouldn't bond to it. Set it all up, let it cure up for about an hour or so, and then just took and unthreaded them by, with a pair of pliers and then uh, used a drill and took them the rest of the way out. It worked really good. But uh, here she is, this one big monster stator, that's for sure. And everything's lined up just, just like it's supposed to. Get this one painted, probably paint this one a uh, I don't know, red or white, one of the two. That's the two colors I've got. Alright guys, we'll catch you later on.